Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's spread is the Search of Justice spread. It's a nine card spread where the focus is on legal matters, whether it is a civil dispute or a criminal case. This spread is to help identify what the obstructions to justice are and how to remove them. Let's get into it. As a quick reminder, there are now links in the descriptions of my videos. So you can check below for a link to my Discord, to my personal website, and also to my Buy Me A Coffee page. Check it out below. So in the Pathway to Justice spread, the nine cards each have a specific question that they are answering. The first card is who or what is causing the injustice. Card two, who or what is obscuring the truth. Card three, what is the weakness in the opposing counsel? Card four, what is the greatest strength on your side of the situation? Card five, what unexpected or new facts will come to the case? to help resolve this issue. Card six, is there more you can be doing or be patient? Card number seven, are you well represented? Card number eight, is it possible to settle out of court? And card number nine, what is the ideal outcome? So we're gonna shuffle up. This one wants us to use the entire tarot deck. And we will see what we've got. And the recommendation is to have these cards spread out way more than I have table space for. So we are going to adjust it mildly. So we have one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I just realized I flipped almost all of those holding the deck off camera. Oh well. <laughs> These things happen. So some quick observations before we get into the individual cards. Five, yeah, five out of the nine cards are from the suit of pentacles. That revolves around home and family life, about finances. There is one card of each of the remaining suits and the major arcana. So those cards are going to be doing more of an informing about home and family life, where the other, the pentacles, are actually giving the real direct this is the impact type cards. Card number one, who or what has caused this situation? We have the two of swords reversed. The two of swords has to do with indecision usually. Having a hard time making a decision between two options, sometimes more. Being reversed, it's that hasty decisions were made. And because of those hasty decisions, there are now consequences. So what or who is in the way of the truth? We have the Four of Cups reversed. The Four of Cups is another card about choices. Normally, when it's in its upright position, it is about taking the time to actually contemplate the decision and make a good one. Being reversed is representing a missed opportunity. It feels like there is probably someone who could function as a witness to support your case to help bring the truth out who you haven't found yet or haven't contacted. So I, I would double check your witnesses. Card three, what is the greatest weakness in the opposing counsel? We have the sun reversed. So the sun is a card of masculine energy. It is a card of action. Being reversed, it's that they are not taking action. 
they are being too passive. They think they have this in the bag and that they don't have to do their due diligence. That will come back to bite them. Card number four, what is the greatest strength in your case? We have the Nine of Pentacles upright. Your greatest strength here is your family. The Nine of Pentacles represents having a good home life, one where almost everything is taken care of. There's still a little bit of the attitude of keeping up with the Joneses where the outward appearance does not necessarily match the inner focus. But your greatest strength here is going to be your family members. Card number five, what unexpected facts or evidence will come out in support of your side of this case? We have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles typically represents a younger individual, say 20s, 30s, who is well established in their field, but still has some learning to do. They're not, they've not mastered it, but they are well established. Being reversed, it implies that someone was sloppy. They didn't do their due diligence. It's interesting that that's coming up multiple times in how I'm seeing these cards play out. The evidence will come out that someone was negligent, and that will affect your side of the case for the benefit. Card six, should you do more, or should you just wait and be patient? We have the Ten of Pentacles upright. The Ten of Pentacles represents a home that is fully established. This leads me to believe that you should just be patient and let the opposing force, the, the opposing counsel, ruin their own case. Bide your time. Be patient. Card seven, are you well represented or should you look for a different uh, lawyer? We have the Ace of Wands. In this case, I feel like you've got a good choice here because the Ace of Wands is the beginning of the suit of air. Air is about communication. The beginning is a card of hope. It is high activation energy. Your lawyer is one who is willing to communicate willing to communicate, one who is willing to take action. That is a good thing in a lawyer. This is also a good point to remind everyone, this is entertainment, this is a tarot reading, this is not legal advice. <laughs> Please do not take this as legal advice. This is to help provide comfort in, in case of stress, not to tell you how to run your life. Card number eight, can or should you settle out of court? We have the Four of Pentacles reversed. The Four of Pentacles is about stability of finances. Being reversed, that's an unstable situation. So I'm inclined to believe that this case is one where it's better to let things go through the full legal process rather than settling out of court. But it also can be that there's uncertainty as we interpret the, the Four of Pentacles. It can represent uncertainty. So that means as the situation stands, it's probably better to keep going through the court process, but circumstances can change. So keep an open mind. Card number nine, the ideal outcome. We have the King of Pentacles reversed. The King of Pentacles represents a man who is, well, in this case, the opposing individual in the court case, who is corrupt. They aren't telling the truth. They're manipulating things for their own gain. Ideal outcome is that all of that comes to light, that they are revealed for their true nature. That brings us to the end of the demonstration of the Pathway to Justice spread. As always, until next time. Walk in the light, friends. Bye.